Hello everyone, uh, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to look about Guillain-Barre syndrome. So there is some confusion regarding the pronunciation of this syndrome so let's call it GBS henceforth. So this is a concise, concise presentation for medical students especially from India. <coughs> what is GBS? GBS is a heterogeneous group of immune mediated conditions. It's not a single disease, it's a group of conditions and it is an autoimmune disease. What is the incidence? The incidence is 1 to 2 per 100,000 per year. So as you can see the incidence is very low compared to other diseases. There are a few common types that you must be aware of. Acute demyelinating polyneuropathy, acute motor axonal neuropathy, acute motor and sensory axonal neuropathy. These are the uh, most common variants among GBS. What is the pathophysiology? It is an autoimmune response triggered by a preceding infection uh, and this autoimmune response causes demyelination of axons. So there will be an uh, infection say bacterial or viral uh, which triggers an autoimmune response. What the body's immune system does is that uh, it attacks the body's uh, axons uh, especially the myelin fibers. So this causes uh, the defect in nervous system. What are the clinical features? There is a prior history of infection, most commonly uh, gastrointestinal infection or a respiratory infection. There will be acute paralysis. Uh, the paralysis will be evolving over days or weeks uh, very quickly, that is I mean to say. Uh, with there will be loss of tendon reflexes. Distal paresthesia and pain precede muscle weakness. So there will be uh, pain and paresthesia before the muscles begin to get weakened. Muscle weakness ascends rapidly from lower to upper limbs. So the weakness initially starts in the lower limb, uh, then they go to the upper limbs. The proximal muscles are more commonly affected than distal muscles. Say for instance, uh, the flexors of the hip are uh, first affected, then the flexors of the knee. What is the most important complication? Uh, since the muscles are weakened, it may lead to weakness of the respiratory muscles. This can lead to respiratory failure. What are the investigations that you do to diagnose GBS? One, the CSF protein is raised. So you can do a spinal tap and uh, send it for CSF analysis uh, and you can find that the CSF protein is raised. Electrophysiological changes are noticed. So you will order an EMG and look for the electrophysiological changes. Antibodies to the ganglioside GM1 can be found. What are the differential, differential diagnosis? Uh, the various differential diagnoses for GBS are poliomyelitis, botulism, diphtheria, spinal cord syndromes, myasthenia. So how do you diagnose GBS? Uh, what are, I mean what are the differentiating features of GBS that uh, makes it unique from these conditions? One thing is that uh, GBS always starts in the lower limb then it progresses to the upper limb and there will be rapid progression that is in days or weeks. Uh, there, uh, th there will be bilateral involvement that is all four limbs will be affected in GBS so if you have all these three things you can pinpoint your diagnosis to GBS well, what is the management? plasma pheresis that is you remove the pl patient's plasma and infuse new plasma that is also called as plasma exchange intravenous immunoglobin therapy may be useful uh, most important measures being uh, supportive measures that is to prevent bed sores and DVT and uh, regular monitoring, uh, monitoring of vital capacity is also essential. Uh, mostly GBS dissolves on its own. So supportive measures and regular monitoring of vital capacity uh, may be the only modes of treatment that you need. Thank you.